Okay, let's talk about milk, dairy products, yogurt, lactose, the sugar, lactase, the enzyme that chews up the sugar, and the mini gastric bypass, and its bypass of the lactase enzymes in the upper gut. And what you should do as a mini gastric bypass patient to be able to eat dairy products and uh, things like that, and avoid some of the gas and cramps that can happen if, you, if you're not careful with dairy products. Okay, uh, remember that our gut is designed to digest and absorb food. Digest fat and calories and steak and pizza and all kinds of things. There are interesting things though that are difficult to digest and particularly the sugar in milk is called lactose. And that sugar can be difficult to digest. The lactose sugar itself is actually made up of two other smaller sugar molecules, glucose and another um, glucose, uh, another a sugar molecule. Those two together are undigestible by us as humans unless we have an enzyme that can break apart that bond and that enzyme has the name of lactase. So lactose sugar goes into the gut and the lactase enzyme can break apart the sugar, digest it, and then you can absorb adequately the other two sugars. Now there's a couple of tricks to that. When we're born, most of us as babies have a lot of that lactase enzyme. And then as we age, and in different ethnic groups, there are less of that enzyme. So you notice that adults have, a, have less interest in drinking milk, milk than kids. And that's a lot of it, it's just a natural adaptation. As we age, that lactase enzyme goes down. Okay, if your lactase enzyme is not in place and you eat that sugar, or you drink that milk that has the sugar lactose in it, the lactose will not be digested because there's no lactase enzyme. The sugar itself then will go through the gut down to the colon where bacteria that live inside of us will say, if she doesn't want this, we'll eat it. And the bacteria then metabolize it, so far so good. But then the bacteria release methane gas and hydrogen sulfide gas. <laughs> uh -huh. So you get cramps and pain and gas and abdominal distension so that all of a sudden an enjoyable ice cream, dairy product, milk, milkshake, uh, American cheese sandwich turns into a nightmare because you have cramps and abdominal pain and gas. And that's purely because of that missing enzyme lactase. And that can happen to anybody who happens to have lactase insufficiency and lactose intolerance. Our patients routinely get lactase insufficiency and lactose intolerance because the lactase enzyme, when it's present, is in the upper gut. And remember, of course, we bypass the upper gut. So that leads to frequent dairy food problems in our patients. Now, there are a couple of easy ways around this. One, avoid lactose sugar. You can do that by avoiding dairy products or by choosing yogurt in which the bacteria inside of it seem to mix with the lactose and eliminate the problem of the sugar in some cases. So yogurt can be tricky. You're often able to eat that. The other thing you can do is simply get lactose-free dairy products. So you can get lactose-free milk. Another thing is if you're out and you have a desire to go to Baskin and Robbins and have a treat and have some ice cream, another thing you can do is go to the grocery store and bring along with you some lactate enzyme tablets. And those lactate enzyme tablets, especially if you add in some probiotic, the good bacteria like acidophilus and lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, if you mix them all together, then they can convert a problem with a vanilla ice cream cone into something enjoyable. So it's a really good question. Most of our patients have the risk of becoming lactose intolerant and you need to be vigilant because you can turn a pretty crummy piece of food into one that looks good on the package by adding milk protein. And milk protein often is contaminated with milk sugar unless it's explicitly stated it's lactose free and then you can be eating something that you think is good for you and get cramps, abdominal pain and gas and problems. So be careful out there uh, after the MGB. Um, I'm already lactose intolerant so I take something called digestive advantage every day. This is the only lactose pill I find works for me. The morning of surgery, can I 
ta I take it every day. Can I take that? So you don't need to take that the morning of surgery. No. So after surgery, then I can consume that. You can take it after surgery. Okay. 